This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on guys? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and today I have some Doom multiplayer gameplay for you guys. Now, I got into the closed multiplayer beta for Doom uh, and basically this thing was announced back before Wolfenstein the New Order came out in 2014 and the way it worked is that if you pre-ordered that game, uh, you got into the Doom beta uh, by redeeming this code. Now, I redeemed this code, like, almost a year or two ago, and finally, like, just, like, yesterday, I got my beta code uh, and, and an announcement telling me that um, I was going to get into the Doom multiplayer beta uh, because I pre-ordered the game. Uh, now, the beta, I, I'm going to go ahead and mention here, uh, the beta doesn't feature anything from the main campaign or the snap and build mode, uh, which is basically like the level creator or uh, mods for Doom mode. Uh, for multiplayer maps or uh, various other missions. So don't worry. There's no single-player campaign spoilers uh, There's unfortunately no mod Gameplay here, but it is what it is. We're basically solely focusing on the multiplayer uh, In this video, so I'm gonna go ahead here I'm going to tell you guys my experiences with the multiplayer beta so far uh, and if you've got any questions I don't answer, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll probably reply to you. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the graphics. Um, unfortunately, I cannot record at 1080p 60fps as my computer isn't powerful enough. Uh, so 720p or Xbox 360 resolution is going to have to do for this particular video. Uh, that said... Um, the textures and visuals are kind of underwhelming in my opinion. Uh, now, that's not to say that the graphics are necessarily bad. Uh, they just didn't really have this, like, incredible look that I thought they were going to. Um, now, this is most likely because id Software, who is developing Doom, is shooting for a 1080p 60fps across PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. And of course, while you're probably not getting as good visual fidelity as you might like, you are certainly getting better performance. Speaking of performance, on PC, this game can't exceed 60fps if you have powerful enough hardware. And in my opinion, this sucks because this game's multiplayer on PC would greatly benefit if it could run at 120 FPS. Now, I suspect that the reason this is is because the Doom game is running in the same engine, I think, as the Wolfenstein The New Order game and the Wolfenstein The Old Blood game. Uh, that came out in 2014 and 2015, respectively. Now, I could be wrong on that, but I highly suspect it's the same engine. By the way, if you are on PC, you will need to turn off VSync uh, in your GPU's control panel. Uh, it's going to make the game run much better. Uh, and I think what happens is if you have VSync forced on, it's basically VSyncing multiple times. It's ridiculous, and it screws your performance. If you turn it off, uh, the game runs at a solid 60 FPS uh, most of the time, or at least it did on my system, at both 1080p and 720p. Uh, now, there are some slight dips in frame rate on the heat wave level, uh, and you can kind of tell that it's not quite as optimized as the Inferno level, which I found is super solid, um, especially after you've properly configured your VSync graphics etc. Okay, so the closed multiplayer beta that I got to participate in, um, you got to play two different multiplayer modes. Uh, the first was just standard team deathmatch, and the other was this mode called Warpath. Now, Warpath is essentially capture the flag, however your team has to main control over a point that moves throughout the level. And really, in my opinion, between the two modes, I honestly preferred Team Deathmatch, uh, though that could be because I haven't won a Warpath match yet, uh, and I also just kind of find Warpath uh, somewhat stressful, especially when people uh, turn into demons and just kill all of your teammates and you. It, 
it's stressful. The multiplayer beta also features about six to seven different weapons, uh, three different grenades, and one demon rune, which allows you to turn into a revenant. Uh, of the six weapons that you could start with, uh, I found myself gravitating towards the super shotgun and the rocket launcher, and this is because uh, generally if you get close with the super shotgun, you can kill somebody in two hits. Uh, the rocket launcher is pretty much the same thing, and really those guns hit hard. Uh, now, there are other good weapons, but I couldn't really get used to them. Like, there's a plasma sniper rifle, uh, there's a standard plasma rifle, and it's also worth mentioning that some of the guns, not all of them, particularly the rocket launcher, uh, the rocket launcher can't do this, but uh, the plasma rifle, you can, um, it has like an alternate fire mode where it, like, fires this like electrical radiation field that deals damage to enemies of multiplayer and that's pretty cool however not all of the guns have a secondary fire now i do mention a seventh weapon and that is the gauss rifle which is pretty much a one hit kill weapon in the multiplayer and is sort of a power up in that way i mean you can literally kind of aim at a enemy's general direction you can fire this thing and it will kill them in one shot unless they have turned into a demon and uh speaking of demons uh there are also the demon runes uh now in the closed beta build uh i only got to play as the revenant however when the full release comes out uh, you're gonna get to play as some of the other demons that are featured throughout uh the doom campaign missions now what turning into the revenant essentially does is that it triples your health uh, and it gives you this like rocket attack that can pretty much one shot kill most enemies uh, that you're going up against. Uh, you also get jetpacks, which allow you to fly through the air. The funny thing is that I didn't actually really use the grenades too much. Uh, one allows you to warp in front of or behind people, uh, which is actually really cool and really useful. Uh, one is just like a standard frag grenade, which is kind of lame. And then the other is like this red energy grenade that I didn't really use a whole lot. Another Another thing that's worth mentioning is that similar to like the Halo games and maybe the Call of Duty games as well, I haven't really played a whole lot of Call of Duty multiplayer, uh, but you do get the opportunity to customize your loadouts, uh, your weapons appearance and like skins, and you can also uh, customize the look of your character's armor. And basically, when you gain experience in multiplayer, uh, you get access to new customizations. You also get access to these things called hack modules. And what these things do is they boost your stats temporarily once you respawn after you've been killed in multiplayer. Uh, some of them will like improve your damage against the people that killed you. Sometimes they'll outline the people that killed you. And these are really useful and they uh, help uh, make the gameplay, in my opinion, more interesting. Speaking of gameplay, Doom's multiplayer is like really tense and really fast. I mean, you're gonna need really good reflexes for this game, especially on PC. Uh, unlike most other modern military shooters, like your Call of Duties or your Battlefields uh, that are out these days, uh, um, for one, you have to pick up health and armor um, as you go, instead of just waiting in a secluded area to regenerate health. And you'll also notice that the pacing is much faster. Your characters just like fly through the levels and uh, you just have to gun people down. It's it's really awesome. Um, now, this is a game I also think that's probably going to have a very high skill ceiling. Uh, you'll notice from the gameplay here sometimes what I'll do is I will fire the rocket launcher then quickly switch to the shotgun and then shoot. Uh, and I found that this is a quick way to basically deal a lot of damage as it cancels the reload animation. And I'm sure that people are going to find other really cool and interesting ways uh, to kind of work around this, uh, like the game's mechanics, and uh, they're going to have a lot of fun with it. You also will notice that during the gameplay, you can perform these executions. And essentially the way that works is when an enemy turns yellow, uh, you can melee and you enter uh, this like sick execution animation and one of my initial worries for this doom game is that the execution animations were just going to be really tedious and boring after a while uh, honestly they go by so fast that 
Um, it's kind of gratifying in that second, and then you just kind of move on. At the same time, I thought this game was fairly easy to get into. Uh, the learning curve didn't really feel insanely high to me. Uh, and in fact, uh, I am somebody that doesn't usually like uh, really competitive uh, FPS, first-person shooter games. Like, um, this is a sin to, for me to admit as a PC gamer, uh, but I hate Counter-Strike for that reason. Uh, I feel like I go into a game of Counter-Strike, I just get headshotted, and I just get destroyed. Well, with this Doom beta, um, I didn't really have that issue. Of course, when the game finally releases, uh, there could be players that are like, like, uh, professionals and they just wipe the floor with everybody uh, but so far i haven't really had that problem of course again this is a beta and things could change down the road um and really i was afraid this game's multiplayer was just going to be insanely hard to pick up uh, as most competitive fps's uh, like counter-strike in my opinion uh, are very hard to play between team deathmatch and warpath i felt team deathmatch was the most fun uh it had the most people playing which is also part of it uh, but warpath is just stressful especially if the enemy team does get that demon room and turns into a revenant um they will literally kick your ass every time that happens i mean you'll be holding the thing for like uh 10, 15 seconds, and then suddenly somebody gets a demon rune and just obliterates you, and then they hold the point for like 45 seconds to a minute, and it's really hard to compete with that. That's not to say that you can't kill the revenants, it's just they're very hard to kill because they just have a lot of health. But you can take them down, especially if you manage to get the gauss rifle and quad damage, you can just one-shot them and it's absolutely beautiful and now for the question that we're all waiting for uh would i or am i going to buy doom um now i am going to definitely buy it uh but i will admit that i have always liked the doom games and the wolfenstein games i think they're a lot of fun for me um i'm mostly looking forward to the campaign mode and the level creator uh but now that i've played the multiplayer beta and i've enjoyed it so far uh, i'm probably going to play some of the multiplayer when doom comes out as well as a film in this video i've currently put about two hours into the multiplayer beta uh and I haven't really had any complaints so far. My only concern for Doom when it finally releases is that it is going to be going up against Battleborn and Overwatch. Uh, Battleborn re releases like 10 days before uh, Doom comes out and then Overwatch, uh, the beta for Overwatch is supposed to start at some point in like May. Uh, so I guess sometime before Doom comes out or maybe sometime after. I'm actually going to say uh, most likely sometime after. Uh, now, while Doom is an established franchise, again, there are a lot of games that are going to be competing uh, to be the must-buy multiplayer game of this year, and I'm kind of concerned uh, that Doom might get overshadowed uh, by Overwatch. Uh, with Battleborn, uh, I'm not sure. Battleborn could be incredible. Uh, it could be a dud. We'll just have to see. Who knows? In summary, uh, I like the multiplayer. Um, I'm probably going to buy the game, and I'm looking forward to Doom. Uh, but anyway, guys, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And as always, take care, and I'll see you all next time.